Oh, he's on fire. You watch him go. Hello guys, welcome back to an episode of Minecraft. As always, this is Jason, and uh, I've been gone for almost a week, and I feel completely out of the loop. Um, don't know what's been. I mean, even whenever sometimes I don't make uh, make a video for a few days, because um, something comes up, I always keep up with what's going on on the server. I watch videos, but I haven't done anything at all in the last few days. And for those who follow me on Twitter. Um, you know, I tweeted out that I wouldn't be able to make any videos for the the next couple days um, because some family issues. Um, for those that have watched my videos for a long time, you know that uh, my uncle was sick, and you know I'd said a couple weeks ago that they gave him not much more time left to live. Um, and last Saturday he did pass away. Um, I've already recorded this video once, and it didn't really come out the way I wanted it to. Um, I don't really know how to talk about this type of stuff. Um, <laughs> which is strange because I've talked about death so many times in videos um, and in all honesty I didn't think that I was going to be so affected by my uncle's passing that I have been um, you know because for one thing we've had a lot of time to get used to the fact that it, uh, it would probably be happening sometime very soon um, so there was that and also um, just the number of people that I've seen die or knew that died in, you know, in my lifetime it's something that I've uh, I've been familiar with you know um, sorry about that got uh, got interrupted there um, someone someone came in the uh, the house here um, <laughs> sometimes I don't know if you guys notice in my videos I'll be talking about something and I'll I'll get kind of off off topic or I'll lose my train of thought and that's because sometimes I get interrupted while I'm trying to record and uh, I don't I need to do something about that because sometimes it really pisses me off <laughs> whenever I'm I'm on a roll and uh, I get interrupted um, you know sometimes it's important um, for instance this last uh... <laughs> damn god uh, this last Saturday, um, this is this is not a time where I was pissed off about being interrupted, but um, I told my wife, you know, I was like, don't don't bother me at all today. I'm going to record. I'm going to finish Psychonauts. I'm going to uh, start up something else. And I mean, I got a lot of stuff to do basically. And um, I was in the middle of Psychonauts, and she came in and wrote on the right board that your aunt just called and you need to go. So didn't get didn't get that done didn't didn't get really anything that I had planned on getting done on Saturday done um, for those uh, you know this episode is really gonna be more talking than getting anything done because I wanna I wanna get I wanna get this the subject matter talked about and done and then really not have to talk about it again because um, like I said I didn't really expect, expect to be depressed or emotionally upset but I was mistaken. <laughs> I, I I have been affected, um, which I mean I guess is a hu natural human. I guess if you weren't, then you might not be. Then we might not be right. But you know, whenever my uh, whenever my grandma and grandfather died on my mom's side of the family, I don't. I wasn't really that upset. You know, um, I knew. Well, my grandfather was. It was actually really quick. Um, it wasn't expected. He had a heart attack, so that that wasn't expected. But I don't know. I guess. Uh, Maybe I just didn't have the same the same bond with him as as I did um, end up developing with my uncle. Um, ooh, nice, thank you, thank you, Addington. I I will need that. Um, so I like I said a minute ago, I recorded I recorded a video last night. Um, yesterday was the funeral, and uh, it was basically the first time I've even been home or had the chance to, you know, or not you know not came home and just went straight to bed. Uh, but last time I recorded a video, and I went into the Nether, and I found glowstone, and there's a lot more. But uh, actually, it's probably a good thing I'm not going to show that video because it will lead Nebras to what's left of the glowstone I didn't gather. <laughs> Deb guy stole my, stole my glowstone. Hey, it's nighttime, man. You should be, you should be in bed in your house. What are you doing? What's this guy doing? Maybe he feels safe because there's an iron golem right here. Um. So, anyways, I got the call on Saturday, and. 
whenever I saw my uncle last Wednesday, as you guys know, I, or as I've told you guys, um, I normally go visit him every every Wednesday, and um, this fact, this is the first Wednesday right now that I've been home at this time in probably eight months. I think I missed maybe one one Wednesday in the last eight months um, while he was up there. And then, uh, for those that have been watching my videos, pretty much the ever since I started doing this YouTube channel, um, I was going with my uncle every day of the week. Um, before my daughter was born, taking him to get, you know, his radiation or chemo, um, or just various doctors, you know, and then <laughs> on the weekends, he, he would always expect me to go with him to, to get something to eat and stuff like that, so, um, over the last couple years, I've spent a lot of time with him, and, you know, we all knew that, uh, that, uh, especially once, you know, once he went into this rehab and, and decided he was going to refuse all further treatment, um, that it was only a matter of time. Um, and when I saw him last Wednesday, I told him then that I didn't think I'd be seeing him on another Wednesday just based on how rapidly he was deteriorating. Um, so I wasn't surprised whenever I got a call Saturday that uh, that I needed to come up there. Um, I guess they were moving him in the bed and something happened. Um, you know, I've, I've heard of a lot of, a lot of hospice patients and stuff that... Um, you know, just just changing their position, and I don't know, it'll it'll just just one of those organs moving around or something like that. It'll trigger something, and uh, basically start the uh, the beginning of the end. And that's what had happened to him. And so when I got there, he was he was still alive, but he was, for all intents and purposes, he was pretty much gone. Um, so basically, we for over the next six hours, we we kind of just watched him. Um, slowly pass away, and it's not the first person I've watched take their last breath. But uh, I don't know if that's just a thing that happens in the South, or if it's something that happens. I know I know it happens in other cultures, you know, where the family gathers around um, and you know watches people die. Uh, but it's it's still. Either way, it's still awkward for me. It's an, it's one of those situations where you don't know what to think or where to look. <laughs> um, just, I mean, the whole thing, and you, I don't know. You don't know what to say. Um, I don't know. It's just very weird. But, uh, and I was there with, you know, his wife and his sisters and, um, and then my, my, my aunts, um, you know his wife's sisters, and um, then so that was that was Saturday, um, and so I've been pretty much busy with uh, with the family since then, um, and I do appreciate all those people that are the the true fans out there that that uh, that were able to see on my Twitter, you know, that something was going on and that I wouldn't be posting videos over the next couple of days and. Um, you know, responded to some of the people that were, you know, spamming my videos with, uh, because, you know, I still had some Psychonaut stuff recorded and it was already scheduled. Um, so those videos, I've been getting, you know, a few, a few more dislikes than average, um, because people were expecting to see some Minecraft videos. And, uh, and then they've been getting kind of spammed a little bit with, you know, where's the Minecraft and fuck you asshole, where's the Minecraft? <laughs> so, um, deleted a lot, quite a few posts over the last few days, and uh, you, some of you guys have responded to those people and let them know that you know I had I had said that something something had come up, and I mean that's that's just you know how it is uh, I guess with YouTube there's there are adults and then there are children, <laughs> and that doesn't always necessarily have anything to do with people's age, um, and I know that the people that really care about the channel. Um, and me as a person, and not just someone that uh, <laughs> is supposed to provide you with 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 entertainment as your as your slave. <laughs> uh, I know those people actually care, so I don't know. Um, enough of that. Um, so yeah, the funeral was yesterday. Uh, like I said Tuesday. The the visitation was on Monday. Um, didn't really do anything on Sunday except for, you know, I just, uh, 
basically stayed with stayed with my aunt. Um, and uh, we have a lot of family um, on that side of, of my family. There's there's a lot of older people, um, and so you know they were all around. And then I have uh, some cousins that are, you know because I'm not I'm not technically my uncle's first cousin I guess because uh, it's my grandmother's sister's husband um, not like not like my father's brother or anything like that um, so anyways what I was getting at was there uh, there's, there's there's cousins that are oh, that scared me um <laughs> Uh, there, there, there are cousins that are actually cousins, like my my uncle's um, or my I'm sorry, my aunt's brother's children. <laughs> For those that don't know how uh, the world works, <laughs> as far as relatives go, uh, apparently I don't. Cause it took me a few seconds to say that, didn't it? Uh, anyways, you know I haven't seen uh, all I've seen is Ned. I haven't seen Fred or Noah. What's going on here? Hello? Fred or Noah? Are you guys still alive? What? I wouldn't be surprised if they've died over the last few days because I have not been on. Dude, this guy's even gone. How the fuck does that happen? What the fuck, man? How does that guy leave? He can't even get out, and there's no way anything spawned in there. What the fuck, man? Yeah, I don't see uh, I don't see him but Ned. Where's your parents, man? I think they're gone. Including fuckface from Justifyville. How the fuck he died is beyond me. Doesn't even make any sense. I mean, these really these guys shouldn't be indoors uh, during the day, anyways. Yeah, I guess uh, I guess something happened over the the last uh, four or five days since I've been going over here. <laughs> Uh, well, that's too bad. Um, I guess it's possible they are down in here. Oh, yep, there they are. Still doesn't make any fucking sense what happened to Fuckface. That's the official name, by the way, Fuckface. Um, I'll have to fix this so these guys can't get in here anymore. That's pretty dangerous down there, actually. I bet it's not even lit up. Did I put torches down there? Oh, I did. Okay. I guess it's not so bad. Um. But yeah, you know, my uncle, my dad passed away when I was 13, as a lot of you guys know, and I would still come visit, visit this area every summer and visit my grandma and stuff. And um, <laughs> my uncle was, uh, you know, he was, he was, he was one of the the male figures that I that I had in my life after my dad my dad passed away so I think that was that was part of the the emotional attachment I had um but then you know that was that was as a kid and I don't know he was always kind of a kind of an asshole <laughs> as a kid sometimes um you know not on purpose I just don't think kids were his were his thing um I remember we used to go to uh this place called White Lake um near here and uh one summer we went to White Lake it was me him um, his wife, my grandma, and their sister, and um, I was I was grilling out for everybody one night, and we come in and we're sitting there around the table, and we're just you know me, me and my cousin are on one end talking, and you know they're all having a conversation as well, and he says something to me. I guess I guess we were too loud for him or something like that, and he says uh, in my age. Uh, 
kids didn't talk unless they were they they were they were spoke to or something like that. And I said, my response was, "What's well, damn good thing we don't live in your?" Well, I didn't say damn, but uh, I said, it's a good thing we don't live in your age. Then uh, I'd actually forgot about this. My cousin reminded me of this, and, then, and I was like, "Oh yeah, I remember that now." And uh, it pissed him off. He uh, he slammed his hand down on the table, and like I said, I had just been cooking the steaks. And he pushes his steak up and says, my steak's not done. And uh, so I go back out and I put it on the grill. My cousin comes out with me. And we're sitting there. And I just <laughs> run on his steak. And uh, I brought it back in. And he was said it was delicious. So uh, nice and juicy, man. <laughs> it's terrible, I know. Uh, but kids are assholes. <laughs> it's the moral of the story, I guess. Um... But anyways, you know, as I got older, I guess I got to know him as a different person, as an adult. Um, I, I mean, <laughs> I guess kids that aren't yours and that are annoying sometimes, you don't really, <laughs> you, you, do, you don't have any patience for them, I guess. Um, but, uh, I don't know. As an adult, we, we, we had more in common um, than, <laughs> than we did as a kid, that's for sure. Uh, what the hell's that? Oh, this, this redstone. Poor B double O's brain. Uh, again, this is not this is not your standard episode. I don't, I don't intend to get anything done. I'm just going to clear my chest and then again we will not we will not discuss this again. And uh, I I really ooh I like that with the wood. Um, See, so yeah, I wonder if he's gonna have mobs come out come out here from somewhere. Or something. Because if he is, man, this sandstone's gonna get blown to hell. Hey, chicken. It's a dangerous place down there. Um, I bet that that's what these these holes are supposed to be is the uh, some some kind of mob system. So it's gonna look badass when it's all done. What? I wonder if he changed his pillars. I know he was talking about how Packrat said that he was doing it all wrong. I quite I quite liked his pillars before that. Um. I know I said the other day I was going to show off his uh, his arena, but here I am. <laughs> lion. Uh, there's a lion in here? It wouldn't be an arena without one. Um, <laughs> so anyways, uh, you know, just, just going with my uncle to, to, get, to get his treatments, and, you know, I, I helped, uh, helped him out quite a bit um, around the house and, you know, just yard work, all those things. Um, but uh, you know, really got to know him as more of a person than just as some someone that you feared as as a kid. I remember the same thing was true with my with my grandfather on my mom's side as a kid. Of course, he was an alcoholic at that time. <laughs> um, but uh, as a kid, man, we all were all scared to death of him. <laughs> uh, but then when I got to know him as an adult, he was you know just the nicest the nicest of guys. Um, of course, he wasn't a uh, bi biological grandfather. Um, my mom's actual father. Uh, who knows anything about that that man? I met him once. Um, he decided to uh, to meet us all at the rest area in Georgia on the interstate. I think it's Georgia. There's a it's a big rocket there or something. Cause it's a space station. Uh, but anyways, yeah, met him once. I remember thinking, hey, he's not bald. Maybe I won't go bald, but. I guess I didn't get his jeans, or that he had a fucking toupee. <laughs> uh, getting my hopes up. Anyways, <laughs> uh, moving on. Um, so my aunt had said, in or asked me if I wanted to say anything at the funeral, and I didn't really want to because it's weird, you know. I, I talk to you guys on a regular basis, um, but. Uh, the thought of speaking in public to all these 80 plus year olds um, was really it was really making me nervous um, that you know I still wrote something up and <sighs> I, I I really really wanted to uh, to say what I what I had written up but I just couldn't bring myself to do it just writing it made me an emotional wreck and uh, I knew that if I even tried to talk in front of all these people that it wasn't gonna it wasn't gonna happen. The night before I was sitting there thinking, I was like, man, how can I how can I do this? <laughs> and I thought, well, you know, maybe if I get up there and I just start off with Hello guys 
<laughs> Maybe it would just all come naturally from there. Uh, but I don't think that would really fit well in a church setting. <laughs> Hello, guys! <laughs> Uh, you know, that's not even my real voice. <laughs> I swear, it's something that started so at some point in my videos, and it's just uh, I don't. I, when I hit rec the record button, it just comes out. Because <laughs> when I say hello to this other people, it's just you know, hello, not hello, <laughs> or however it comes out. Uh, so you know the the podcast. Um, got messed up this week too because of me. I told them just to go ahead and record it without me, but they wouldn't do it. Damn guys. <laughs> uh, so it's supposed to be a weekly thing, and it'll it'll be back um, this this coming week. We're gonna record it. Uh, I think tomorrow was the plan. Um, I was working on something the other day before all this happened, and uh, as you can see here, I've re redesigned this this area over here, and I've. I've got quite a bit of hey, let me in here. Um, quite a bit of yellow wool for something, and I've made this area where they can't escape. At least I don't think they can. Um, so you guys will be seeing that. I it should have already been done. Hell, for all I know, someone's beat me to it at this point. Um, because I have no idea what has happened on the server in the last uh, last few days. I, like normally I watch you know everyone's videos or at least the majority of them I haven't watched anything I don't have any idea what's going on <laughs> I just I don't know um, but I don't want to ramble on and not actually do anything because some people actually watch my videos for gameplay and not just commentary <laughs> uh, but I did want to let everyone know what was going on I do appreciate everyone's patience um, and understanding for those that did have it, and for those that uh, posted some rude shit on my channel over the last few days, you may notice that you're now blocked, and you can eat a dick. <laughs> that's just that's just the the way things work in this world. Um, I would say sorry, but really I'm not. <laughs> so again, eat a dick, fuckers. Um, man, that scares me every time it makes that noise. So yeah. Um, I think that's about it for today. Uh, I think I really got everything I wanted to say across, or at least the majority of it. Um, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of comments, you know, saying sorry for your loss and things like that. And uh, you know, I appreciate that. Um, I don't. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I just don't really want to um, read a lot of that. <laughs> and most people comment before they get to the end of the video, so it's too late now. I'm sure. Um, uh, but again, I'm, I don't want to sound like an asshole either, but yeah, I don't know, I just, uh, I guess I just want to kind of move on, um, best I can, and, uh, I, I don't want to forget <laughs> that my uncle ever existed. You know, something that I've done since my dad died is I've avoided caring <laughs> for people. Um, I've always assumed the worst was going to happen. Um, like I remember when we first got our cats, um, whenever they were getting all their vaccinations and everything, so we adopted these cats, um, so we were getting them their vaccinations, all these things, and one of the tests were for feline AIDS, and so my wife was like, do we, 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 we want to do that? And I was like, well, yeah, I guess so, might as well. Um, so it came back positive. And then she's like, well now what do you want to do? And, uh, cause the, the vet suggested that we put them to sleep. Um, whenever they came back with that news and I don't know I think I went through like the stages of grief because I was immediately angry about the whole thing it was just like you know why the fuck did we even adopt these fucking cats um cause after my my last cat died um Scotty was his name and I've told you guys the story of him before and yeah I didn't name him for all those that are assuming it's a Star Trek reference he, he was named by some old woman that I stole him from <laughs> for abusing him uh, but again I've told that story before so I'm not going to tell it again um but whenever whenever Scotty passed away I took it really bad I think it was because um the whenever I had um <laughs> we we were moving from Texas whenever I had stolen Scotty from this woman that was that was abusing him um we were moving to from Texas to Colorado and uh it was right after my dad had died and so I got I think I 
balled up these emotions that I had and attached it to Scotty in some way. And uh, so whenever he died, I don't know, man, I took it really, really hard. <laughs> like it was like losing a person almost. Um, and so we hadn't we hadn't gotten any any pets since then for quite a few years. And <laughs> in fact, I remember when I dug Scotty's grave out here in the front yard. Um, <laughs> it's six foot deep too. Uh, I had gotten down in it and sat down in it, and I was sitting in there being <laughs> a little squall baby. And my wife come out and she's like, "What the fuck are you doing?" And I was like, "I was just seeing how it feels down in here." <sighs> oh man. Um, <laughs> I've told you guys way too many things today <laughs> about me that's really personal. Uh, but anyways, back to the current cats that we have. Um, she asked what we, what I wanted to do, and like I said, the vet suggested that we put him to sleep. Um, and I was like, well, I guess the, we don't have any other fucking choice, you know? I mean, we, what do you want to do? Do you want to... Um, because there's there's a lot of health issues and health concerns. I mean, obviously, feline AIDS can't be transmitted to, to humans, um, but... Anyways, uh, so we hadn't decided what we were going to do yet, and I had suggested maybe we get a second testing, um, and right before we did that, the vet calls us and lets us know that they had had an uh, excessively high number of positives for feline AIDS over the last week, and so they were going to do retests on all of them, and apparently there was, um, there was something wrong with their, uh, their, their testing equipment, so... <laughs> the like like ninety percent or something had come back positive, and I don't know. I guess if we had if we had been a little bit hastier, then we'd have put the cats we have to sleep now, and they didn't even have have AIDS. Um, <laughs> it's just weird. Uh, I don't remember exactly why I started telling that story though, <laughs> but yeah, there there it is. Uh, and anyways, and with that, I think I'm going to end this episode. I do appreciate you guys watching as always, and we'll be back to our regularly scheduled programming uh, from this point forward, hopefully. <laughs> um, I do intend... I wonder if... Does that... Do they attach? I don't think they do. I think it counts as glass, right? I can't see from in here. Oh, yeah, they do attach. Right? Yeah, they attach. Let me, let me back in here if that creeper comes and blows me up. Um, looks like Walking Dead's coming out, uh, part two, in two days, so I cannot wait to get back to playing that, been waiting for that shit to come out, um, so we've got that coming up, and I had intended last, last weekend to start up the single player 404-esque challenge, and I intend to do that here, <laughs> maybe even tonight, I don't know, uh, see what I have time for. But uh, anyways, um, I do appreciate you guys watching, and thanks for the people out there that <laughs> aren't assholes. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Always on fire. You watch him go. Yes. <laughs> oh, your diamond shit just got Explode out of them from all sides.